Namaste and welcome to another great day. Today is going to be a very auspicious and powerful experience for all of you. I'll let you know the reason in a few moments from now. Over the past few weeks, Shri Amma and Shri Bhagavan have been leading us on a journey towards health, greater vitality, greater vigor. Today's journey is going to be the fire ritual, the Havan, Dhanvantri Havan. We are going to be chanting Dhanvantri Havan and Dhanvantri is supposed to create order from disorder where health is concerned. And it's a well known fact today that with the blessings of Sri Amma and Sri Bhagavan, the Dhanvantri Havan has led to amazing experience of cure and healing in the lives of many people. So having appeased the reasoning mind, let us allow our hearts to take over now. Let us begin the sacred journey into the Dhanvantri Havan. Om Pavitra Pavitra Vajra 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 The first prayer is going to be for the healing of the psychological dimension for health. All healing begins in the mind. The mind must give way for health to be in the body or in the consciousness, which means our negative beliefs and our negative ideas and negative constructs about health will have to go. And only then can positive grace flow into our life. Pray that negative beliefs must leave you and that there must be healing of the psychological dimension. Thank you. 
Now the prayer is going to be for the pranic body, which is what our ancients call the pranamaya kosha. Earlier when we prayed that our beliefs and our ideas of health must change, we had actually prayed for the healing of the jnanamaya kosha, of the knowledge body. As you are praying, you will now begin to visualize as though the radiance of your light body is growing vaster and vaster, wider and wider. With this, you're going to be asking for healing of the pranic body. As we move into this section of the haven, I request you to fetch a glass of water so that we could charge it and help it acquire medicinal properties. Please go and get it. The prayer now is for the karmic dimension of health. We all know that life is essentially cause and effect. We do something and we keep reaping the fruits of what we have done. In case we have acquired any deep merits because of our actions, our feelings and our words. Right now we are going to be asking for divine grace for this healing to happen. So you would take this glass of water into your hand Close your eyes and chant along with me. Om Narayanaya Vidmahe Dhanvi Putraya Dhimahe Tanno Abja Prachodayat Om Narayanaya Vidmahe Dhanvi Putraya Dhimahe Tanno Abja Prachodayat Om Narayanaya Vidmahe Dhanvi Putraya Dhimahe Tanno Abja Prachodayat Thank you. You can now open your eyes and continue to participate in the Havan. Om Namo Bhagavate Dhanvantri Amitakali Chastai Sarvamai Vinashinai Tulokarajai Vishnave Svaha Svaha Om Namo Bhagavate Dhanvantri Amitakali Chastai a bright golden light 
entering your heart, filling your heart with positive feelings of love, joy, compassion, peace and serenity. Because this is no time for the healing of the emotional body or what we call the Manomaya Kosha. In this part of the Havan, as the Narayana Upanishad is being chanted and the Havan continues, all of you will sit together in a circle, hold hands with each other and we are now going to be asking for the healing of the bliss body which is also called the Anandamaya Kosha. Ask that your joy spread from within you to the entire circle, circle of friends or family who are sitting right now. And you would also envision this joy from all of you reaching out to all of humanity, to all of life itself, and to all the universe itself. So now, we mourn into the heaven. <laughs> Thank you. Now, the much awaited time in the heaven, the most auspicious, the most expected time of the heaven has finally come. The arrival of Shri Amma and Shri Bhagavan. Amma and Bhagavan have not just entered the Havan spell, they have also entered your homes. They have come to bless us all with great health.
the presence of Shri Amma and Bhagavan, we are going to be asking for the healing of our physical bodies or the Annamaya Kosha, that body which has been fed by food, that body which is capable of giving us physical pain or physical pleasure. So, what we will be doing right now is that we will be stretching our palms, asking for divine grace to fill our palms, to enter into our palms. You could either commune with Shri Amma and Shri Bhagavan, whom you would be seeing on the screen, or you could connect to any of the saints, sages or gods you've been worshipping all along and ask for divine blessings to flow into your hands. And after a few moments, you would be placing both your hands on your head and visualizing that that particular part of your body which has been sick till date is now turning out to be completely healthy. You will visualize yourself being completely healthy individuals. That organ of your body being completely filled with health, vitality and energy. So now we move on. Now is the time for Purnahuti or the culmination of the sacred fire ritual. As you see the fire rising above the heaven and trying to lick the skies, as you behold that sacred fire, envision that sacred fire entering into your body, cleansing each one of your bodies, Annamaya, Pranamaya, Anomaya, Karmamaya, Vijnanamaya and Anandamaya also. Visualize all your bodies getting cleansed. And then thank the Divine, thank the Divine that you have received such a great blessing today because gratitude, remember, is what is going to ensure the blessings continue in your life. Oh, 
It is said by the ancients that the heaven is only complete when we contribute, when we sacrifice something from our end to the universe. So here is a small pathway for you in order to be able to contribute to the betterment of humanity. You have today taken the sacred water, prayed and sanctified that water with your prayers and with your sacred intentions. Take a part of that water for yourself, drink it and apply it over that part of the body which is now with the divine blessings returned to greater health. Take the rest of the water and reach out to anybody who is sick or unhealthy, give them and pray for them and tell them that you have come just now from a haven in which you have participated and that you have received the tremendous blessings from Aman Bhagwan, which you are passing on to them as well. Beyond this, if you know anybody who is unhealthy, try to help them out in whatever way you can. This is the only way we can repay the universe for its kindness. Finally, the Havan culminates with the blessings from Shri Amma and Shri Bhagavan. Let us hold them very dearly to our hearts. Let us receive the blessing from them.